Yeah, that's why you guys taking a video. Yeah, we're from the uh, uh, news. Don't take a video. I'm from the Altoona Mirror. I'm Mr. Copley. Okay, okay. Uh, hey, hey, hey. Question for you. Did you kill your wife? Again. Just relax. Right question for you, Mr. Copley. Did you kill your wife? Hey, how about you your that didn't answer my question. I said, did you kill your wife? Did I ask you? Charge for her connection in the murder of a young mother has pled guilty. The Altoona woman, Catherine Copley, was murdered by her husband, Michael, back in 2015. Her body was found about six months later in a garage behind a vacant house in Altoona. In 2017, when my YouTube channel was in its beginning stages, I was trying to film every abandoned property that I could gain access to. Some of these properties were fascinating and beautiful, but unfortunately, more often than not, they looked scary like something out of a horror film. Sometimes I'd film locations that weren't only scary looking, but also had horrific history as well. I was watching the news one day while scouring the map looking for an abandoned property to film, when almost simultaneously hearing about a murder on the news and seeing a vacant property on Google Maps, only to find out the next day that the body of a murder victim that I heard about on the news the night before was found in a garage at the exact same property that I was looking to film. Now I know that sounds crazy, but it was almost like it was meant to be. After looking into the unsolved case at the time, I knew that I had to put something together and put a video out to bring some sort of awareness to the case. The only problem was I was a beginner at filming and editing. Up until then I had just walked through abandoned locations and well, just filmed them while walking through. I never put together a documentary style video before and I was more than nervous to risk doing it with such a touchy subject. The more I thought about it, I almost abandoned the project altogether because I wasn't confident enough to give it the justice that it deserved at the time. After all, we are talking about a horrible crime here and a family that is mourning as a killer is still at large. Then one day I turned on the news and saw that the husband of the victim had been running around tearing down the missing person posters of his own wife and actually got arrested for it. I then decided to give it my best shot and that day, I drove to the location after confirming with local police that it was no longer a crime scene. I walked to the front door and it was cracked open ever so slightly and I began filming. This house belonged to a man named Frank, or Francis R. DeFrancesco, who was discovered dead in his bed at the age of 63. The morbid part about this situation is that Frank had been dead for nine months in the bedroom upstairs before he was found by the next door neighbor. Not having any family around, the neighbor went over to check on him after not seeing him for some time with a cup of hot cocoa in hand when he made this sad discovery. After digging into this case, it was said that Michael Copley, the husband of Catherine Copley, whose body was found in the garage out back a few years later, actually worked with Frank at the local Wise Market. The couple had actually considered buying the house during a tax sale not long before Catherine went missing.
Land. A 29-year-old woman from Altoona has been missing now since last Thursday night. Our Mari Elena Ballor is caught up with Altoona Police today and has more on the investigation. She's live now with uh, the latest. Mari Elena? Carolyn, Lieutenant Jeffrey Pratt of the Altoona Police says Catherine Copley has been classified as a missing endangered person. Copley was last seen getting into a car around 4th Avenue and Crawford Avenue in Altoona around 10 p.m. on Thursday night. Her mom tells us that she left home without her cell phone and her wallet and that's highly unusual. Police are considering this an ongoing investigation investigation and are hoping to reunite Copley with her family. The time frame they're focusing on right now is between 9 and 9.30 on Thursday night. So anyone who might have interacted with her then or has seen her since is asked to contact police. Good evening. Thanks for watching. I'm John Clay. The husband of a woman who was found dead in Altoona in a garage or an abandoned home in June was arrested after a summary trial today. Being an Altoona native and also being the same age as Catherine, I really struggled with the idea that someone could do this to another human being. The house also sits in the neighborhood that I grew up in, which really made me feel a certain way. Even crazier, I had gone on jogs in that neighborhood running right past the alley while Catherine was in there. It really made the entire community sick and caught off guard. As morbid as it may seem, I wanted everyone to see where Catherine was literally dumped and discarded like a piece of garbage so that everyone could actually get a feel of what the family and community was going through. Unfortunately, sometimes that's what it takes to really motivate people to care and take notice. With that being said, I did not enjoy any aspect of that project and constantly debated whether or not I should release it. It's, like I say, it's taking a while for all this stuff to come back. We haven't got no closure yet. And I keep in contact with the police every day. Like, and without our support group that we've had people in the beginning to support us, they've been there every step of the way. So, I mean, it's been over a month and we're just waiting for all the results to come back so we can have closure in this and have justice so. And at the end of the day, what do you want to see happen? You want that justice, right? What would be justice for Kathy? I want to see him going down. Yeah, everyone. I want justice done. Everyone that was involved in this this unhuman act and throw trash on her like she was a piece of meat, a rotten meat. I feel that just justice should be served. And they have no conscience, they have no art. They're just animals. Even animals are more treated better than this. Breaking news we're following out of Blair County at this hour. A suspect charged for her connection in the murder of a young mother 
has pled guilty. The Altoona woman, Catherine Copley, was murdered by her husband, Michael, back in 2015. Her body was found about six months later in a garage behind a vacant house in Altoona. Police say their investigation showed that Samantha Musselman helped Copley hide the body. That was Mr. Copley hide the body and agreed with him in front of witnesses that the body of Catherine Copley would not be found. I want to get you out live to our calling Knudsen right now. She's at the courthouse for us this afternoon where Musselman's hearing wrapped up a short time ago. Colleen, good afternoon to you. Casey, good afternoon. It was an emotional di a day in court today for the family of Catherine Copley. Samantha Musselman entered a guilty plea to criminal conspiracy to engage in the abuse of a corpse. When asked by District Attorney Pete Weeks, she admitted she conspired with Michael Copley, Kathy Copley's husband. She also admitted that either she or Copley, quote, went a step further and completed that conspiracy. The maximum sentence for this charge, which is a misdemeanor too, is 24 months. Musselman was sentenced to 12 to 24 months in jail, but she received credit for the 17 months she's already served in Blair County Prison. And because of that, she will be given parole and possibly released later this afternoon. Now, I spoke with the family after the hearing, and they say that they were frustrated because Musselman and her attorney were not in the courtroom physically. They video conferenced in because of the COVID emergency. The family says they wanted her to be there in person and see her face when they read their impact statements. And they say today they did not receive justice. And as for Michael Copley, he is still awaiting his jury trial, which again had to be rescheduled because of the COVID pandemic. Casey. Major de developments today. Uh, Colleen uh, Knudsen live for us outside the Blair County Courthouse today. Colleen, thank you for that. What, uh, what's your reaction today? I'm happy. Um, I'm overwhelmed that uh, it took, we've been going through this for almost three years and then all of a sudden it's like something just quickly happened real quick. And I know now my daughter is at peace and she's looking down over us and we we are just all overwhelmed that this has happened and it's going to be a long journey yet but we have faith in God and we know that God is standing beside us and showing us every way that we have to go through that. Now six years after an Altoona woman, Catherine Copley, went missing, her husband, Michael Copley, is sentenced. How can another person do this to another beautiful soul and just throw her away like she was nothing and he has no remorse of it? Like how can someone be that evil? A Blair County judge ruled the 33-year-old will serve 26 and a half to 57 years in prison. Copley was found guilty of third degree murder earlier this year. Catherine went missing in 2015. Her body was found unrecognizable in a garage six months later. We did speak with Catherine's family who says the sentencing is giving them closure. For the last five and a half years, I've been holding on to trying to mourn my sister. I couldn't have done so because of six months of searching the ongoing investigation and this trial. And I feel like after today, um, I can finally sense I can mourn and grieve and go through that process. Amy tells us while she feels a sense of relief, no time would ever be enough in her eyes. And she will continue to fight for her sister by making sure Copley stays in jail for as long as possible. So who was Catherine Copley? 
From never meeting her and looking at this from an outside point of view, I've gathered that she was and continues to be many things. Because let's face it, even after people pass away, many parts of that person still live on through people they touched while they were here. She was a mother, a daughter, a sister, a great friend to many, and most of all, she was a good person. How do I know that? Because so many people were fighting for justice and not giving up until it was served. People don't do that the way I witnessed it unless they really love someone. Catherine was loved and is now at peace while her killer sits behind bars. The case has ended out after five years and I hope that this video redeems me from the confusing job that I did on the original one. I will say that my goal was to bring awareness to the case at the time, and it was my first video to nearly reach 300,000 views. I also shared the information with a friend of mine known as RNK All Day, and he also did a piece that has reached about a quarter million people. <laughs> so I think that we did reach the people that we set out to reach, and we brought awareness to the case many people that have never even heard of Catherine or this whole entire situation are well aware of the case now. This piece is a completion to a very long case that is finally closed. My only hope now is that the family and friends of Catherine Copley can finally find some peace and healing in this situation. Rest in peace, Catherine. Check it out, man. I mean, this merch is like really sick. Check me out, bro.